guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going fantastically. Is fantastically a word? It's my word today. <laughs> good morning, got some good sleep, waking up, and I'm like, okay, start of my week. So this is the week of Thanksgiving for us. I know it's my videos are a week behind for you guys, so you're probably in the, I'm sick of turkey leftovers, I'm sick of leftover ham. <sighs> the letdown maybe you had a not a, such a good time with family maybe you got together with people and it was more strife and more crazy and you're like <laughs> glad for the letdown and things or maybe you had a wonderful time and now everybody's gone and it's kind of a depressing time because you're all alone so i hope that by the end of today's video you are feeling that you know what okay i can enjoy those good memories even if they weren't so good i got to spend time with family got to be a blessing got to be able to serve them got to be able to do great things with them and then you know what today's a new day right and if not today then tomorrow's a new day <laughs> however your day may go however the how everything works out for you in your life so for our life in my home today is a cleaning day i always do my cleaning on monday monday is a cleaning video for the most part unless we have something else going on like last week we were on our trip so i didn't do any deep cleaning on monday so the house kind of got like different times that I did the deep cleaning. I'm like, I need to do a good deep cleaning today. So today is going to be a really good deep cleaning because I like to clean my, I didn't clean my bathtubs. I just kind of wiped the toilet during the week, but I need to do a good deep cleaning of those rooms. The house pretty much stayed clean. We did our Christmas decorating, so it wasn't like it was horrible or had a lot of stuff to do, but it will be nice to get things cleaned. I feel like my floors need a good scrubbing, you know, all those good things that you do in your home today. So we still have a lot of leftovers, which is good from last week. We pulled out all those freezer meals. Um, yesterday we had the shepherd's pie. So good. I forgot <laughs> a couple kids. I'm like, okay, mashed potatoes, kids. You might have told my kids like have a, they, they liked mashed potatoes for a long time. And then like all of a sudden they're like mashed potatoes, what? But they did eat some of that. And they're like, oh yeah, this is a good flavor. <laughs> so I just had to laugh on my kids. I don't even know. So we are going to make mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving this week. We will see how that goes, but that is going to be later in the week. So you'll see all of our meal prep, all those wonderful things. And it's just gonna be a good week. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I've got my list of things to do. I've got my kind of plan for the week, what I have to do. Things that you just gotta do as a mama, things you gotta do in your home to take care of it, things you gotta do as a woman. You know, got to get up and take my time in the word and to be able to read and that scripture is something that the Lord's just put really on my heart lately. And it's, you know, we're going through like, a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff right now and it's just, different things and it's cool how like that cool it's amazing how like i'll be going through something and you'll be going through something completely different but being able to read the same scripture the same words of the lord and like see how it ministers to us both in completely different situations that's what's pretty cool so that isaiah 26 3 you will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast which steadfast means committed and focused completely on you in both inclination and character because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. And I think of like when things go wrong and it's like crazy and you get that anxiety, you get that like, what am I gonna do, the stress of things. And if you go, wait a minute, what does the scripture say? He promises to keep those who are focused on him to keep their minds what? In constant and perfect peace. You want that perfect and constant all the time so that you don't feel frazzled, you don't feel overwhelmed, especially with things going on, holidays are coming up, Christmas and all those things, and you gotta think about presents, you gotta think about money, you gotta think about how you're gonna make things work, you gotta think about family coming, you gotta think about how you're gonna be able to do things. Keep that, keep him in your mind to keep that constant and perfect peace. And I like that, that you're committed. That means you're committed, you're in it, you're ready to do it, you're not gonna back out no matter what, in both inclination and character. I looked up the definition for inclination, a person's natural tendency or urge to act or feel in a particular way, a disposition or propensity. So it's just your natural way you are. So you just have to naturally go, okay, Lord, if you, the more you get in and read the word, the more you get, it doesn't happen overnight. You don't just become like changed all of a sudden. You get in there and you read it and you keep it focused on you. You might read it one day and go, okay, what did that even do for me? But keep reading every single day, a little bit more and more and more. Keep that to be part of you, just part of your character, part of your inclination. And so then when you're having those, like today, having those thoughts of like, okay, what, what am I gonna do? I gotta think of all these things. Go, wait a minute, what is he saying in his word? Right? That verse 26 3, you will keep in perfect and constant peace, whose mind is focused solely on you, right? He will do that, but you have to keep your inclination and your character completely focused on Him and go, okay, 
what do I gotta do today, Lord? So when you're waking up today and you go, what do I even do? Sometimes you're overwhelmed with everything going on. Think, okay, what do I have to do today? Like for myself, I can think about my whole week. I can actually think about my whole month right now. But what I'm gonna focus on, I kind of know what I have to do for the week. So today I got up, got my little sticky note, and I go, what do I have to focus on today? Notes are great for that. Sometimes keeping the things in your mind makes it like overwhelming and it's hard to focus on what to do. So make yourself a list. You don't have to be like crazy list person. Like I'm a list person, but I'm like, not like so list like my list if this doesn't get done guess what it just gets moved on to tomorrow my list has been the same thing for the last four days some of it <laughs> that's okay because you can just move it to another day but i have a i have a guide to go by today so even though like i'm cleaning and getting all those things down to school all those things for the kids i have somewhat of things that i have to accomplish each day if i set it like a certain time that's hard for me because my life gets crazy because kids interruptions life so if I just have a little sticky note of what I need to do okay this is what I do so write some things down to do it on paper wherever at there's there's another free app what is it called keep notes if you have an Android and um, you can do this little keep note let me show you what it looks like do you want to see my phone you can see my phone right keep notes that little yellow one right here it looks like a little light bulb right there in the middle that's called Keep Notes. It's free. You click on it like I just, I have once for Thanksgiving dinner just because I normally would put it on paper, but I was sitting away from there and I, I wrote everything I'm going to do for Thanksgiving dinner because I forgot things. The kids, the kids were like, aren't we having Jello, mom? And I'm like, Jello? I haven't made Jello at all. I'm like, but they look forward to that on the holidays. So Jello, things like that. So I made a list. This is great. And then they have like little um, boxes. So if you, are you done? Hopefully this is showing up on here. And I make it just focus. There you go. Those little boxes, you can touch them and then they'll go, it'll move down to the bottom to show that you're done. I do this sometimes for grocery lists, like small grocery lists, things like that when I don't want to take paper. I love, I'm a paper person and I do like my sticky notes, but sometimes I find that I do lose my sticky note. And I'm like, where's my sticky note? And I've gone shopping many times and just like completely lost it and then went, oh my goodness, like what do I, what do I even do? <laughs> so like lost. So I do both, but sometimes in a phone is good too. So get yourself a list. Don't like do rigid. Some people schedule. I'm going to do a planning and scheduling with me video too soon, but some people plan everything out like crazy, like every hour on the hour. And that's, I guess, okay too. But I find that that just makes me more stressed out because I can't keep within that time frame. And sometimes it gets overwhelming. So if I have a general idea of what I have to do today. That's my focus. And I don't put too much in today. Not always. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have a very full day and I'm like, breathe but I just know that the next day is gonna be like a calmer day so if you have a full day today go okay tomorrow be more of a chiller day with less things on your list but if you got some kind of guide to go by that's a good thing to say okay what do I do so for me right now I know what my focus is for the next few hours of what I need to get done and then I can look forward and go okay I know what I have to do before like dinner time tonight it's like I can keep my focus on those kind of things so I have a general guide so that's what I you know do and just be able to go okay I gotta do accomplish this. So for you today, go, all right, Lord, what do I what do I need to do right now for the next few hours, maybe the morning or the afternoon for my day? What are the things I need to accomplish? What do I need to get done? Ask them, write those things down, get your list, then you can go, okay, that's what I'm gonna do this morning. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So my list right now is in my head for what I have to do right now is cleaning, cleaning things up. It's mostly cleaned up pretty good. I just like to do, I get my Norix cloth out and do a really good wipe on everything clean everything down. I just do that at least once a week. If I had little ones or babies, I would do it more often, but my kids are old enough. They're not as germy. I mean, they're still germy, but they're not as germy as like babies where you have to be like so cautious. So the cleaning has gotten less, but at least one good wipe on everything. So we're going to do that. I'm getting an earbud in, listen to a message this morning, a sermon, keep my focus on him. It's a good thing to do when you're feeling those things coming again. So put those messages on, focus it or some good praise and worship music to keep your thoughts on something beside yourself and beside your problems on something greater and bigger than you. So, all right, let's get going to have a wonderful, wonderful, fantastic Monday. You guys ready? All right, let's go. We did dishes yesterday and then there's still some room in the dishwasher. Yes, which is awesome. So I'm going to get my Norix cloth out. All right, devastation. <laughs> I like to use my Norix cloth to wipe everything off with. I bought two, like... I don't know, a month or so ago to have re, like renew, like to use them. One has gotten lost. How do you lose one? How you lose one is that you have children put away your, your uh, how long I need to put my music here. Um, how they get lost because other people do the laundry. So I only have one. I'm like, oh, where is it? So I don't have it because I don't think I've done 
the laundry yet for I did laundry for the boy. Let me actually let me go look real quick. Let me go see if I have it. I did order some more. I was like, I called my Norix person. <laughs> I was like, Heather, I need some more cloths because my kids lose them somehow. And I don't know how you lose them. They're like expensive cloths. So these ones I'm gonna keep not put in my dirty laundry. Probably wash them in the sink, that kind of thing, just so they stay, you know, within realm. It's like my scissors disappear. So don't lose your Norix cloth. So I need to go look and see if I have some. So let me go look and see if I got one because otherwise I'm just gonna have to use these. I don't have them, so I'm gonna use these. My friend Barbara got me these. These are the nano towels that work just enough and I have vinegar in here with some essential oils. I'll just spray everything down and wipe it that way. Whatever you gotta do, just adapt and overcome. Okay, so I did a little bit of cleaning my refrigerator. Now, um, they're pretty cleaned out because they haven't had a lot of stuff in there, but what I did is um, kind of went through and went, okay, what do I have? I know we've been eating our leftovers. Um, I moved stuff to this freezer because I took my turkey and ham out of here to thaw in the refrigerator for the week, so I was able to fill this up, take stuff out of here. I'm gonna put out some baked goods here because we left out um, bread last week on the charcuterie board and that got eaten, so I'm gonna pull that kind of stuff up, kind of use that breakfast stuff up. I don't mind having breakfast stuff frozen for a while, but it does, the texture is okay. To, it's better to eat it up now than like months down the road. Well, freezer meals are okay. They're a little bit more solid, but the baked items, I like to get those eaten up. So I'm going to pull some out, make a pile over here on the counter so they can eat those today, and then uh, we'll keep going cleaning up. These are really good. The chocolate is so, so good. And the pumpkin was so good. I put butter on it. The cinnamon got eaten up. I didn't even get to have any. This is banana. So I'm just gonna leave this over here. It'll get eaten. I'm putting the vitamins on the counter because we went through a time where we didn't eat a lot of them. So now just to keep them there to remind me to take our vitamins. All right, kitchen almost done. So just cleaned my pantry, I got some popcorn off the floor. I just take down, I usually hang up our um, bags right here. So I just take them down, stick them up here. Let me show you. In here, and that's where I stick them. And there, I just check the floors, make sure they're picked up. I have my fall stuff here because Thanksgiving. Since we have our Christmas decorations up, I figured bring up the pumpkins and cornuco or not cornucopias, little, you know, Indian corn and stuff when uh, we have dinner. So it'll be more like Thanksgiving versus the Christmas dinner. <laughs> so, all right, this is good. I just came and check real quick. Easy cleanup, which is good. So let's keep moving, go to the dining room. All right, so I'm gonna clean my table up here. I left this stuff all sitting here because I'm going to decorate and do my like little coffee area here. I just ordered a little drawer. I'm waiting for it to come hopefully today or tomorrow for it goes underneath here because I have these. We, sorry, we fill all these up. So I ordered some more of these and then um, it sits like on top of it. So one of you told me about it. So I got that coming and then I can like, you know, Organize this better, make it look, we didn't put any Christmas stuff over here, but we will. It's all over here. So I'm just gonna move it from there over to here 
and then I will get to this tomorrow or Wednesday, whenever my stuff comes in. Barbara sent me some new games, so we're gonna play these this weekend for Kids Against Maturity and Sriracha. Sriracha the games, we'll get these out here. All right, getting our stuff all cleaned up, knocking away at the table.
All right, doing really good cleaning. You ever have those good Mondays where you're like, I got a lot done. I got a lot done, so I'm glad. So now I just have to do my bedroom, which I'll go in there and do it. Greg's just getting ready, so I'll just wait for him to finish up, and I'll go in there and finish up the room in there. But doing really good. So I tried something. <laughs> that was weird. My hair looks like it's sticking up, but it's the wreath back there. The camera doesn't do like you guys see big giant screen TV. I don't see any of that stuff. That's why I don't notice tiny little things like chocolate on your face or you know your tag sticking out until I actually edit the video. <laughs> it's okay, real life. But what I wanted to say because I didn't want to talk when I was in the bathroom there is I do okay. I usually use my Norix crystals for my tub, ultra clean. They're a little more expensive, but I only use a little bit, and it scrubs really good. Gets all the yuck off. Awesome, love it. Well, I started using. Um, the scrubber things like the bristle brushes with Dawn dish soap and that worked really good But I still had like it still looked like it had a little bit of, like the water I don't know the Water stain I guess is the word so I would use a little bit of Menorix crystals on there So one of my viewers said that she mixes in her you know in that scrubber brush half vinegar and half of the soap I did that and it went completely like it cleaned it really really good So the one the boys bathroom I did that I added that to it and scrubbed it worked awesome and then our bathroom my brush was pretty well full of dish soap so I really couldn't um, add that much to it that's why I sprayed my shower down first so that I think is the hookup so I'll keep you updated every time I do it sometimes when you do a new thing it works really good the first time and after a while you're like eh, it didn't really work that good so that was really good though so I have all my things to fill up with vinegar here this is what I clean with pretty much everything in my house I don't use cleaners like too much vinegar is pretty much what I use for all of my cleaning I use that in Norwex towels so Norwex towels have my anti micro fiber you can do the research on it I don't know it cleans my house I like the way it is so I guess you can argue the point that it doesn't really clean but I feel like it does so what I'm gonna do I only use vinegar on top of anything else and then usually I use those crystals in my toilet in my tub but I started using the soap and vinegar so we're just gonna have to see and then what I do in here is let me find a what I do is I have my um, my hair essential oils in here so what i i'll just pour something in there with the um vinegar i'll do this first i usually do it after then i'm like overflowing so do you like 20 drops in here this like makes the vinegar not smell like vinegar you can just use straight vinegar too if you don't have essential oils and i don't buy like the expensive essential oils go to walmart and get a container for like five bucks it'll make your stuff smell a little bit nicer but the vinegar does dissipate in time it has to go up in the air and dissipate so i'm just going to put this in here i got these on amazon these glass bottles I don't know. I just like them. I find the, the plastic one, the nozzles get like stiff or something and clogged because you can't put essential oils in them. It'll actually eat your stuff, the essential oils. I know. It's safe, isn't it? <laughs> it just, but if you mix it with the vinegar, it's okay. So the orange one is good. Orange and lemon in here together is really good too. That's just the ones I like for cleaning. If you need like a pepper mini, lift your mood a little bit. You can do that, or if you're going to do some deep cleaning, put some in your sink with hot soapy water and just add some tea tree oil and peppermint, whatever you want to do. Depending on what you need in the household. I just, these are in here all the time, so I'm just going to use the orange in here. So now that these are filled with this, I'm going to put my um, vinegar in here, and then we'll be good to go. So these are here. So instead of me walking these back to the bathrooms, I'll put them on the list, which I have over here on the refrigerator for the kids when they get up. So people ask, do your kids do anything? Yes, my kids do things. I do this YouTube as a business. And so you don't see all of the cleaning. If I didn't do YouTube, I would just be putting these back in the bathroom. The kids would get up and be helping with things. But I usually get up earlier, film before they're kind of awake so we can just kind of get the stuff we need to get done, done. So just a different aspect. But I'll put this here. They'll put those in the bathrooms. What I'm gonna do next before everybody's up is wash the floors, mop the floors. I use my Norix mop, kind of scrub the floors because it definitely needs to be clean. I feel like we have all the crisp stuff out big giant mess if I can clean it once a week like with the water I feel good with it we'll run our vacuums during the week multiple times well it depends on how dirty I feel like it is sometimes I run it twice if I'm not really doing a whole lot of in and out of the house I might just do it once again but I'm just gonna get that and then clean the floors
Okay, all my cleaning is done except for laundry, which is going really good because I threw food loads in this weekend. And then my bedroom, which will be no big deal. And then I'll help with the boys' room and the girls' room because they need a deep clean today. I'm gonna grab all our school books. Outside, rainy. Oh, nice supposed to rain. There's a little leaf falling. All the leaves. Okay, good to step outside. Sometimes when you're working in the house all the time, especially for your mamas that have little kids, you can't get outside. Just step outside for like a minute and just go. Fresh air, even though it's rainy and gloomy, you get a little bit of a break to finish out your day. I know I did this a lot when I had little ones at home because sometimes you would be in the house all the time and never get to get outside because it's impossible. I get that. So for myself now, I'm like finished, which is good. So now I'll focus on getting there. I'm not finished because I keep saying that, but like, yeah, I keep filming things. I'm going to be setting out their school. I'm going to have um, some coffee here and breakfast with Greg before he heads off and then um, get the kids up and moving. We're a little bit on a slower I don't even know what happens. I feel like Christmas, I'm gonna buy everybody alarm clocks. Should I do that? I feel like I should. Take some of their Christmas money and buy an alarm clock because, you know, my wake up is not fun. And we get into like, if someone doesn't feel good, they get into a rut of like staying up late, sleeping in. It's like a big giant. I feel like that's my, I have some things in life that drive me crazy. That's one of those things that drive me crazy. So I'm thinking, I'm just today going, I need to buy some alarm clocks. I feel like I need to do that. So, alarm clocks for the kids. I'm thinking so. Anyways, okay, back to my, I'm not going to complain. But, um, so all I'm going to do is get their school out. They'll get up and do chores, and we'll have a great day worth of school. So it's going to be a good day getting things done. It's good to do that when it's cold and rainy and yucky outside. But get outside for a minute. Even though this is cold and rainy and yucky, fresh air just for a minute. And go, okay, let's go in and complete our day. So now I'm going to go back in. Maxine doesn't want to be out. You don't want to be out here, Maxine. Maxine, you don't want to be here, do you? She's like, I'm shivering to death. I didn't buy her. I had a sweater for her last year, but she has grown just a tad bit. So I probably have to buy her another one. I think one of my viewers got her one. It was just too big. So I'm going to have to go get her a sweater. Walmart's got cute sweaters, and they fit her. So otherwise she freeze. She's like, Mommy. All right, Maxine, you ready to come in? You ready to come in? Don't do it. <laughs> okay, we're going to come in and get the school out. All right, so my school stuff is done, which is neat. Our librarian, she gave us little um, craft packs to go. So she gave a little turkeys here. It looks like how cute. That always do good things there. So that's all set up because we're going to do a bunch of school day because it is rain. When you have like rainy, yucky days, I usually try to do more school because life always gets busy. It always, always gets busy. And like school, it's like, okay, what's the minimum we have to do? We don't do the extra stuff. So I know today I'm going to be home all day. All day. I have nothing else to do but be home. So I figured dinner's done. I'm gonna throw a freezer meal in the oven. So it's gonna be an easy dinner, lunch, there's leftovers. So I don't really have to do a whole lot of like more food prep today, which is a good thing. So this will be a day that we sit, they can do the crafts. We're gonna do a lot of our, we do um, like an animal and then they'll like color it and why I'm reading like the scripture and the like the nature study of it. And so we'll do a lot of that today when they get moving and get up. So I thought, I'm like, everybody's still sleeping. The house is quiet. I was supposed to film my Abundantly Blessed this weekend and I did not get to do that. So I thought, why don't I do it right now? So I think I'm gonna do it right now. I'll be back in a second for you guys, but film right now my Abundantly Blessed so I can get that up for this week. Okay, so we got kids up. They're moving, doing their things. So what I decided to do today, because Rooms need to be deep cleaned and to avoid me having to do it all or to do the majority of it, I'm gonna have them do it in spurts today. This is how we're gonna to function today. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a sink full of soapy water with my vinegar I got out. Soapy water, some vinegar, and then I put some tea tree oil in there and I'm gonna put peppermint oil in here. So what I'm gonna do is put this in here and I'm having the kids work 
in sections because I have a lot of school today and a lot of it I have to do like one-on-one -on -one school work with them. So what I'm gonna do is have them work in sections and I'm having each child go like right now, I just sent Steven, he had a crash test dummy he made and his skateboard and I said, you go take that down to the garage. That's where it's gonna go. So he just did that. Then he'll come back and I'm gonna have him take his bedding all off, put it by the washer and then I'm gonna give him a rag from here and he's gonna wipe off all of his bedding right there. Then I'm gonna see where I'm at. Like I might start his school after that and then he'll go back and do something else, but we'll see. Madeline, I'll do the same thing. Have her go and get all her bedding off and I'll give her a rag and she can wipe all her bed off. Same thing with Jensen. And the, the three older girls, they pretty much can do that, but the younger ones, they need some direction. So then what I'm gonna do is in between that, like they'll do their desk, they'll do under their bed, they'll do the main part of their floor, they'll do their walls, they'll do their closets, they'll do their clothes, all those things. And then that way, every area of the room gets clean today. I don't have to do it. I can check it when they're done and say, okay, this area is done, good. And then um, also in between why one child's cleaning, another one can come out and do their school with me. So we're gonna do that this way. So I've got my sink full of hot soapy water. I'll cut my cloths right here and put these right in here. So as they come, they can take their own little rags. That smells good. Mm, they said peppermint. -y. They're gonna be like, mom, I don't like peppermint. And then their rooms can get nice and clean. So it's gonna take some time with laundry because the washer takes a while, but that's how I'm doing my morning right now. They're doing this and doing their chores. I'm getting school one-on-one -on -one done while they're also being productive. So, okay, let me go finish up. All right, we're going, we still have dishes. They haven't gotten to these yet, but that's okay. We're on round two of a new sink filled with cleaner. They're doing, hold on, you are really bright. So the kids are doing good cleaning their room. I'm so proud of them. Oh, it's been really good. They're actually doing their room. It's taking a while, but I'm okay with that because I have a day that we're home all day. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. So today is a good day for them to dedicate to their bedroom. And I know normally I can do this, but sometimes we're in a hurry to do something or get somewhere. It's just easier to do it yourself. But right now they're doing really good getting it clean. So I'm just having them go back clean as they can. I said, okay, this is your section. And then I'm, so I'm having them each do a section. So Jensen right now is cleaning his desk off. He's like, I did it. And I went in there and I'm like, ah, do you take everything off the shelf and wipe it all off? And so he had to go back and wipe everything off. So that's what they're doing. They're wiping everything down top to bottom. The room will get done eventually. So this is, this is good. Everybody's doing their part. And then I'm doing kids in between. So I got to do Jensen's school, the one-on-one. -on -one. Steven's school one-on-one, -on -one, and now, I thought I heard kids, the, um, I'm just trying to get this dripping here. The other ones, um, I still have to do Maddie, so she's doing something right now, and I'm able to get her school. And then my laundry takes a long time, you know. So I'm trying to get, I got one load in right now, so I can kind of hang it outside because it is nice out, nice and breezy, so I'd like to hang it over my railing to get the nice smell of their, the, the blankets and stuff. So we're doing great, it's been a good, good day. So, okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, so we've been doing a whole a lot. It's been a busy, busy afternoon. It's about quarter to three right now. Got all of our school done like the younger kids. I have to check the older ones school, but most of it's done. So I have to run right now. I gotta run to the post office and pick up a few things and get um, that kind of stuff in my possession. So I'm gonna go run and do that. Still doing laundry. I've got one more comforter to put in the washer, but I have to wait. So I'm trying to get them so I can put them outside so they can kind of get in the sun a little bit to get a little bit of that fresh air in there, but I'm gonna throw dinner in the oven. So I pulled out pesto tortellini, frozen meal last week. Yeah, thaw's real good, and the Alfredo ravioli one. So I'm gonna put them in the oven just to bake them. We're gonna have that tonight. It's not very long, because they're pretty well thawed. Let's see, hold on. So I'm just gonna leave it in there for about an hour. Probably when I get back, I'll check in and it should be done. All right, so dinner is gonna be done in here. Let me show you. I just took the lids off because it is heated through. It just needs to be kind of like bubbled up on the top. This is the pesto tortellini. This is the um, ravioli. It'll be good. So there'll be the, whoever wants the tomato one, whoever wants the chicken one. So that's dinner. We're gonna have rolls here. They're a little bit older, so they're a little bit harder. So I'm gonna cut them and then put them in the um, oven just to crisp them up a little bit. And that'll be dinner with butter applesauce. Easy, easy dinner. Didn't have to do anything today. So let's go outside. All right. So I'm going to close today's video because I am done 
done, done. Pretty much done for the day. See, my blankets outside are drying. The boys are down there jumping on the trampoline. We ended up moving that trampoline across the yard, drug it from across the yard over there. We have to put it, the van is over there, get the van out of there and then put that up there because the van is going to be gone. So, and then they'll be able to jump. We didn't originally put it there. There's no flat space. We have the pool area and then um, that's it over there. We have a little bit of space but we usually park cars over there we're not going to need to park cars over there anymore so that's going to be a good thing but i didn't originally want it over there because it's like in the woods and they were little and i didn't really want them going down there where i didn't see them but now they're big enough to know like hey if there's a bear you know what to do <laughs> so when they're little i didn't hey maxine so i'm just finished up laundry i've got one more blanket in the washer i just put it in so i'm gonna be able to put it out here hopefully hopefully before the sun goes down over the mountains there and then i'm gonna close today's video because it's been a good long day we've had a great day it's been a fantastic day it's been one of my better mondays today so we're just gonna finish up tonight do what we gotta do it's gonna be great and then we're gonna be here again tomorrow with another video so you guys have a fantastic i'm talking fantastic rest of your day and remember you are designed and created for greatness. You guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you. Bye.